Hello. I'm telling you about this dream I had. I had this dream that I was God. And that I created everything. Including heaven and hell. And the universes. I actually started in hell. It wasn't called hell. But it seems to be that way. Now that I look back on it. Um, I was a scientist in another, another place far away, I don't know, but, uh, I created things with the machine, good and bad, like humans, some humans, like a horseman, and all types of stuff you see on Star Wars, you know, like different alien species and stuff. And then I would make just all types of stuff, man. Chairs and whatever. And this machine with variables. And, uh... All the bad got together because this one guy, this kid, look, this guy made him always to be in a kid's body, but he could grow up, but he never seemed to grow up. He was evil, and he got all everybody against me, and they killed me, and uh, when I was dead, I created heaven. On the basis that it just gets better. Same thing with the universe. Made the universe the same way that it just gets better. That's the only variable I used. And that's what was created. The universe in heaven. And the universe was created with all the planets already there. The sun there. But the universe grows, and heaven grows, because it does so good, that it just keeps growing, it keeps getting better. I wonder what I should tell you about this dream. I was a, I, after I made heaven in the universe, I uh, flew from one side of the universe to the other side. And, uh, I hibernated there till I heard like a bang or some something woke me up and uh, then I started my life somewhat like Anakin Skywalker was in Star Wars but I was really living it the life it was different it wasn't like Star Wars exactly, but there was powers and lightsabers. It was pretty wild. And then they caught on to me, the Sith or whatever, the evil. Caught on to me because I was undercover. I was really a Jedi, but I was undercover as a Sith. And uh, so I transformed into Captain Jack Sparrow. Something like him.
with the pirate ships and all that. But I had, I was different. I looked different. I looked like Anakin Skywalker still, but all dreaded out, and I was tall. But I had my, from my knees down, I had surgery to remove my, from my, from my knees down, my legs, my feet, and all that. And uh, I had them replaced with hovers, hover discs, force animated hover discs. And uh, so I used to float around, that's why they used to call me Skywalker. Because I'd hover around. I didn't have feet or legs. Not from the knees down. I just had these hovers. I'd float around. And then I replaced from my elbow down um, my right hand was removed the right arm and replaced with a lightsaber. So I always had a lightsaber on me at all times. Pretty cool. Then I flew here on my on a ship, spaceship. It should be hovering around somewhere. Somewhere around Earth, I imagine. But Earth rotates around the sun. I wonder if my ship just rotates around the sun too or no. I wonder if it rotates around the moon or around the sun, uh, Earth. It's got a uh, gold mirrors that reflect an image. Or not, well, not an image. Uh, well, yeah, an image, I guess. Those are expensive mirrors. They're covering my ship, I think. They're surrounding my ship, these golden mirrors. So you look at it and you look like you're looking. Well, no, they look like they have like a money symbol on it. Like tons of gold or something. And that's my ship. Where's my body is in my ship. My Anakin Skywalker body that has the arm for a lightsaber for an arm and hover discs for legs. That, that body should still be in that spaceship. Surrounded by golden mirrors. Out in space somewhere. That's my other body. Jesus should be there too. He's the one who sent me here. So you better call him NASA. Say, is there golden mirrors flying around? Uh, Base somewhere. 
Because if there are, that's my spaceship, dog. I got my body with it. My other body. Call NASA, see if they have anything to say about that. 